Water is a resource that New Zealand is blessed with. If it wasn't for water, there'd be a lot less production for the country, a lot less jobs, a lot less everything. We do need to use it respectfully and responsibly, watering the places that actually grow grass and not watering the places that don't grow grass. We met Stu and George when we were assembling the pivots. We just got talking about the advantages and disadvantages. This was the first job that we installed a centre pivot on. It was all new for all of us. The pivots going across the races and then cows going over it left us with lame cows and with the water running off the races we were getting pivots stuck in the sides of the races from the water that was just going nowhere. The only solution really was to control every nozzle on the machine to make sure that the water wasn't going on the races. Talking over lunch and dinner whilst building them, they came up with the idea and yeah, we got to the VRI process. We tried it on Brian's machine, it started to work, so yeah, we developed it further and we found some more machines to put it on, some other people with the same problems, and it grew from there really, yeah. From there, it was clear that we were going to need to build a business around this, so Precision Irrigation is the name that we came up with. Bit of banter over the years, getting it up and going in the initial years. For the last probably eight years, we've had nothing to do with them because the systems just work. Brian was pretty quick to, to report back to us about the difference he's noticed in animal health to start with. So that was a biggie. Cows picking up stones in their hooves wasn't such an issue anymore. It's got a positive environmental impact on farming to be able to use the water where you need to use it. Not applying too much water means that we're not washing nutrients through the soil profile or causing runoff. Guys are increasing their yields, saving on pumping costs. Centre pivots are efficient and with the use of VRI you put your water where you want it and as much as you want. There's no better way. When we get uh, our system into an area on a farm, the farmer will often put it in on one of their machines. Next thing you know they're back for more and more and more and then all their neighbours are and we're growing all these hot spots. To see it growing like that was pretty exciting. Around 2010, Lindsay started to express an interest in, in acquiring our business. Came as a bit of a surprise to us to start with, but as it turns out, nobody else was doing technology like we were. Up until now, we've been known as Grow Smart Precision VRI by Lindsay. To be more in line with the rest of the branding, we'll be known as Zomatic Precision VRI. Definitely a feeling of pride knowing that Stu and George have been successful in their business and in their project. Good to see Kiwi Ingenuity going worldwide. Ten years is an achievement. We're still growing. It's cool to drive around the country and see your name up there on those irrigators. Yeah, it's something to be proud of. My wife's sick of hearing about it. <laughs> Irrigation's been in the public view for a lot of reasons, good and bad. There's a lot of pressure from the public to conserve water, uh, be more efficient. We believe that we're at the forefront of actually providing the tools to achieve that.